Good morning, everyone. We are back on Pervac Valley, episode 11 now. So if you did miss episode 10, it was a live stream. I will plug it on screen now. So make sure you catch up on episode 10, because it won't show up in the main videos. It'll be in the live section. It is in the playlist, though, so you should hopefully have found it. So catch up, and then we'll join you in January, episode 11. So here we are, January 1st, 7 in the morning. Just shut the engine off. We're just checking the cows. Obviously, we put them in the cow shed over the winter. We're just seeing how they're getting on. So the straw is still pretty good. Slurry, they've got 4,000 litres. Let's turn our torch on. 4,000 litres, not too bad for just over a month. And we've also got the manure here. So we've got another 4,000 litres of manure as well, which we can get into the BGA. Looking good, looking happy. So we open the gates up and just let them out and get some uh, leg stretching going for the afternoon. We close the gates off. It's a lovely morning as well. Lovely January, nice January morning. So they're looking good. So we'll head up to the main shed and we'll just check on the dairy cows. Let's see how they're getting on. And then we'll head down to the main farm. It's January. So I'll just quickly show you now before I uh, forget. So we've got our sorghum in storage. So we actually missed the window at the best price in December, but it's gone down just slightly. Well, it does go up again in, in February, the looks of things. So probably January, February is the best time to sell, but I think what we'll do, we will sell up today. Just while we can, uh, time on our hands because it's quite quiet at the moment and then we'll check the um, milk again September is the best time so we've got plenty of time to get milk stored up if we don't do any cheese or butter production and then we've also got the corn again the corn won't show up because uh, it's not in actually a silo but again July January is also a very good time to sell some corn by the looks of things. So we might also get some corn sold this month as well. So we're fairly busy getting the um all the crop put into the trailer, down to the stores. But now's a good time to sell, and as you can see we are quite low on cash. We've had some outgoings over the winter. So it's best probably to get those things sold today while we can. So again, a bit of a delay in some videos recently. I've been uh, upgrading my PC. So I've now got a dual radiator on top and an extra four fans instead of just a two and a one radiator and exhaust. So I've got two exhausts now and two on the bottom and two in the front. So things are going to be a lot cooler in the computer, especially now I've got the, uh, the heating on for winter, the room's a bit warmer. So it's definitely going to help the computer run better in the long run. So again, let's turn our little torch on. I don't think there's any lights in here actually. Let's have a look, see there's a switch. I don't think I've seen any light switches for this barn. Which would be a nice touch to have. I don't see any lights either on the roof. I will ask the question. Or I might be able to see if anyone else can find them for me. Who knows where they are. Let me know in the comments if you know where the light switches are. From the looks of things, there isn't any. So we've got milk, 9,000 litres. Again, plenty in the tank. Straw, we're topped up pretty well for the uh, bedding. And again, we've got plenty more. I think some left in there. Slurry, 6,000 litres, and then the water's looking okay. It should last another month or two. Just hop over there, and we'll go and check the extra slurry bit how it's looking. Got the winter water there, look, a bit of floods. And then a bit of slider now. We did use some in the last episode anyway, because we obviously um, spread some of this new bit of kit here. Spread some slurry on the fields down at the, uh, the main farm. And the manure has also been topped up again, 5,000 litres, which again, we'll get into the uh, 
EGA probably this afternoon, get it processing. We've got our hay bales here, we've got finally made up. And we've got plenty of grass. And we've also got our silage bales on the field, which we did pass just now. Should be now fermented, I believe. So yeah, silage bales, 3,500 liters. So again, we can get some silage made up over the uh, start of the year. And we can actually get mix in some uh, good feed for the cows. And again, we've asked, we have got two mixers in here. So we've got the uh, old one here, we've got the new one. We still need to test out. So that is definitely on the cards over the next month or two. So what we'll do is I will head down to the main farm and then we'll get the trailer. We will start loading up our crops for selling. Okay, here we are down at the farm. So we'll just head around the side here. Just park this one in here for now. And again, we, we aren't going to have enough slurry to spread all four fields. So we are definitely going to need to order some more, more um, fertilizer start of the year and that should hopefully come in sort of February March time. So we'll grab the tractor. Where have I left it? I'm somewhere around here. There she is. And then we can uh I did figure out to close this door and I've forgotten again. There we go. Right click and then drag. Don't need the indicators on do we? Tractor needs a bit of a wash at some point. Oh, there's a few thousand pounds of damage just done. So we'll grab this one, pick it up. And we'll start the sorghum, we'll empty the silos out. And there's only 15,000 litres, but it's going to help out again at the start of the year. So here's the field, we did spread some slurry. I get some lights so you can see the line there where we actually ran out. So we only managed to do about half the field with the slurry we had before winter. The pH value is okay. And again, do we have precision farming samples for all these fields? I don't think we do. Let's have a look quickly. Okay, I think we do for this field, but we didn't buy it all. I can't remember now, to be honest, I'd have to go back and check the videos, like we did. Or maybe just for this one here, we bought the samples, so... Yeah, nitrogen is still pretty much in the red, so you can see there, even what we spread, it's barely even got it into the green, so it's still spread quite thin, but we didn't want to use it all on one, one strip, so we're just going to get a nice, nice even spread. And then once we sow and get fertilizer put on, it should put it to the green for the fat. So at least, but again, it didn't cost us anything to make the slurry. It's, it's saves us buying manure. So it saves us buying fertilizer in the long run. So it all comes naturally from the cows. So it does save us a bit of dollar. So let's try now. A lot of weeds growing through as always. We need to sort those out this year as well because there's a lot of weeds in the fields. There we go, 15,000 liters. Hopefully we can fill up the whole truck. I'm gonna sip my cup of tea, if it screws your slurping noises. Nice Sunday afternoon for filming. So yeah, I do, and I do quite like these uh, silos actually, good animations on these, you see it comes out there and then it actually comes out there as well, so got the blower there as well, but it's the uh, crop in, and you can close and open these, you'll probably see in, I think it's episode maybe 3 or 4, you've seen these uh, messed up a little bit, but they are pretty nice little silos, modded one. So 
So about 60% full, I reckon. There we go. Or well, 59% full for the trailer. And I'm pretty sure I didn't add on the extra on both of them. Should be empty now. Yep, so they're both empty. So a cover for this one. Let me just check. I forgot on this one here. Oh, we're stuck now. So what you can do with these ones is, I think it's around here somewhere. The trigger. Old blower. Just that one there. Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I intended to do, but... Well, we're going to have to use Super Jump there. So you haven't seen my mod video. I said about using Super Jump a lot more than you think. This is why you have it installed. So yeah, you can close off those little grains there. But I will close them off, I think. I'm not going to use them for a while. There we go. So where's the best place to sell this then? We are looking for Sorghum. Nine four four at the Gateway Industrial Park, which I believe is literally next door to us. There we go, literally across the road. So that'll save us a bit of fuel. I shouldn't need the lights on now, but we'll probably need these. Don't want the radio on, definitely not. There we go, that's the ones. We'll put tail lights on just to be safe. Got a header there laying around. We've got the beacons on, not the hazards, which someone in one of my videos did kindly remind me. They are beacons, not hazards. So thanks for the uh, correction. I think they're open. They should be open. Is it a manual door? Or is it automatic? There we go. So I guess this is it here, the green cell. So we've got 4,800 in the bank currently, so much we get for this. And these were in the fields anyway when we actually started the playthrough. So we didn't actually plant these, they were just there with the map. So we go 14,198 and we lost 389 there for the environment score, which is pretty much expected. Um, just down to the state of the fields currently. But that is not too bad. It looks like we're going to get some fuel as well for this tractor. So 15 grand, or whatever it was, 11,000. I forgot already. But yeah, not a bad start to the year. We'll leave the gates open. And then what we'll do is we will grab the corn from the um, silo. We've got the soybeans as well. I forgot the price of the soybeans. Let's have a look. Oh, excuse me. The uh, soybean sale point. So. July, yeah. So we'll just get the corn for now. Let me just double check the corn is the best time to sell. Yep, so pretty much January is probably the best time this year. So we'll get that corn gone. And there's quite a lot of it to shift as well, so we should make a decent amount. Back in the menu one more time, sorry. Um, 9.07 or 9.16 at the cereal factory, which I believe is literally next door as well. There we go. 
So we've got the JCB for the first time. I did test it a while back. But, um, it did seem to lift up quite a bit at the front, which is not ideal. So I believe the corns in this one here should be yellow. There we go. So there we go. Quite a lot of corn to shift. I've got our soybeans just in there. So I'll just grab the front loader and we'll crack on. So we are just had to quickly spend some money. I did have a bucket off camera, I forgot to re-add it. The one's JCB little green bucket. So it's two and a half thousand plus a quick delivery cost. So what I'll do, hopefully it's not too heavy on the um, front here. I think the best way to do this is probably put the trailer About here. Then we can just go in reverse turn and unload. There we go. So we just leave that extended, save us doing it every time. Let's try it in first person. So I am considering getting a, uh, a joystick potentially for Login. I mean, it's not so bad when I'm using the Xbox control because it's quite easy to do, at least for the front loader. But when I'm on the steering wheel, it's a little bit harder to use the uh, keyboard and mouse when I've got the steering wheel in front of me. So I might try one out, see how we get on. Um, my Xbox control currently again because my room arm was just a bit too shaky on the um, on the desk I'm on here. Even though it's a pretty solid, thick desk, it's just still a little bit wobbly. I think that's down to the boom arm just being cheap and not having much support. So I noticed on the live streams, my voice was sort of crackling and cutting in and out. So uh, I need to get one a bit, a bit better, a bit more sturdy, and then I can have it there, not obviously in front of my face and not on the. Uh, arm mount, or the, the, the blue yeti mount on the desk, because at the moment it's right in front of my face where I, I can't have a steering wheel then plugged in. But again, I'll be doing a uh, setup tour very soon on my new desk setup, which you'll see on my tech that I've actually got in place. Oh, I've missed a, missed a bit there. So 9,000 litres is at 30%. Yeah, it's about 30 So we'll scoop up at the end. And I think what I'll do is, because this might take a while, I will just uh, speed things up slightly just for this part of the video until we do the next load. I'll be back very soon. <laughs>
Okay, here we are. So that's the first load done. 25,000 litres. So we'll take this down to the um, cereal factory. Again, just across the road. And we'll see how much we get for a load. So we should get at least two out of this. Uh, hopefully, maybe three, two and a half to three loads, I reckon. Struggling a little bit with the uh, the weight in the back now. So I'm guessing it's probably around the back, the actual point. Not there. Don't want to sell it here. Hmm, where could it be? Surely it can be back here. No. In one of these bays here, maybe? Nope. Interesting. Let's tag the place. If we turn on zone markers quickly. Which one's in this one here? Okay, so it's hidden away, just there, uh, like there's no actual bay to put it in. So it's quite quite tight to get around here. It's free reversing, I think. That'll do us. So we'll see how much we get. Probably get a bit of an environmental score deduction as well. So we've got nothing for that because why is that? Is it recognises because it's a factory? I don't. I don't actually own it. In fact, I do own it. It's saying owned by me, and maybe it comes with. Yeah, the map when you start, maybe? That'll explain why it's showing up in my productions. So apparently I own the carpentry and the seal factory. I mean, that's not really what I wanted to happen. And so we need honey. Corn, oats, raisins and honey to actually get this thing going. And I haven't saved the game for a while, so we might lose a little bit there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is reload the game, because I don't really want to be losing 25,000 litres of corn without actually fulfilling the uh, rest of production to get this going. I'm not quite sure why it says I own this. So I'm going to quickly reload the game and I'll catch up to here and we'll just sell it at the uh, industrial park here. So I'll be back very soon. Apologies for this. Okay, we are back. So I've just sorted out the uh, problem there. I thought I'd leave it in just so people would know if you are planning on selling to the cereal factory. Unless you own it and you want to produce cereal, 
what the other ingredients you require, then I wouldn't recommend selling. So, the next best place to sell corn is uh, Mole Valley 907, but it is actually sort of way up here in the top of the map. So I think by the time we go up and down, and obviously uh, take off fuel costs and so on up and down each time, not by much. I'm losing my menu now. It's only 904, so you know, three pounds difference. Um, so I think we're just going to set up the industrial state across the road as well, just to save some time and fuel. I mean, yeah, it'll add up over six, you know, 50,000, 75,000 liters. It will give us an extra bit of income, 100, 100 maybe. But it's just going to be a lot easier to go across the road. So we'll carry on where we left off. My uh, right mouse button is now not working to close my door. So we've got the door open again in January. No worries. So yeah, I sold the sorghum again. So that's all done. And this is the first load again on the save game. But let me just save it before I forget. I did try to um, sell this when I mean, you can set up 29, but then when you want to try and place down uh, a new one, exact same, the land's not owned by you. So if you want to just try and one for one it, the problem is you want to buy that land. Looks like you actually can't buy it. Unless it's in a section where it buys the whole map, maybe. Let me just click around quickly. Sometimes you can buy like the roads and it will buy the cell point areas. So quick look. Normally it's like a click on a road somewhere and it will select them all. So it's not actually me buy this bit of land here, which is again a bit of a problem if you want to. Just have it as a sell point without actually ruining the landscape. So yeah, I'll feed that back um, to MS Modding as well, unless he watches the video. So we'll see how much we get for 25,000 litres of corn. It makes sense that we sell it here anyway, because it goes into a silo and not into the, just the back of the building, into the concrete. So 22,599, take off 600 for the environmental score. So we'll be looking, you know, about 22 grand a load. So if we get another, hopefully two loads out of this, we should hopefully get uh, around about 70k-ish, depending on the exact amount we put in. So yeah, not bad. I mean, 70k is a good start to the year. Plus the others we got, I think the 11,000 we got from the sorghum. And we got obviously the uh, soybeans in July we could sell. So it's not a bad start really. It's going to help out massively. We were down to 4,000, so anything's going to be better than nothing. And again, that will pay for some fuel and maintenance of the vehicles we've got. In the long run. And if necessary, some more kit if we need to buy some more kit. So we might need to buy a milk tanker, which we would probably owe anyway. Shut the engine off for now. Save some fuel. So yeah, I'll just crack on as we were. Bit of a sped up time and we'll uh, get the next load done.
Okay, here we are then at the sale point one more time. So we've basically got about two loads out of it, just short 25,000 this time. So not too bad. Uh, there's little bits in the corner I couldn't quite pick up. So 23,311 at the time. So yeah, not too bad, about 58,000 now, which is obviously not a bad start to the uh, start of the year. So what we'll do is we'll park up the um, trailer on the tractor. And what we'll do is we'll just give this one a quick wash while we're heading in this way. And then we can um, fuel up on the way back in the back entrance as well. Let's do it to give these headers a wash over the winter. We haven't done that just yet. So if you didn't see, I think it was the live stream or the episode before, I set up this little jet wash area as well. Um, Cause there was four, it was just like trees here, blocking the actual back door to the um, maintenance hanger here. Just uh, soak the inside of the cab there, there we go. So I put in a little water tank here just for visual effect, obviously the markers aren't normally on. Got some pro wash detergent and some bins there. Little uh, storage shed. And then I flattened the ground out, smoothed out a little bit. So we've actually got the space being used now. Before again it was just trees um, and a really big dip here, it was like a drop almost. So that's what we did over the winter as well. Cost us about 10,000, just why some of the money's quite low. It's much better. I don't know if it won't stay clean very long, but um, at least it's looking good now. Got some tracks there. Did the weeds disappear if you drive over them? I'm not too sure. Looks like they do actually. I don't think it destroys in there. I think it just leaves tire tracks. So we definitely need to get on top of these. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why um, the little power we used or the little uh, tillage mod we had doesn't leave weeds behind, but this other one, the bigger one does. Whether it's just not recognized as to pick up weeds, I'm not too sure. I'm not quite sure how much fuel is in the tank, but um, we're now stocked up. There we go, so 400 litres left in that one. See, so there's a few little bits here I couldn't quite get with the bucket. I'll probably get that smaller bucket at some point, but it's not major losses, if I'm honest. A little bit there we couldn't quite get to. So close these doors up. Park up our trailer. Let's see if it's big enough to do a big U-turn actually. You never know, might save reversing. There we go, nice and easy. So there we have it, that is the first month of, or the first day of January done. Some money made. And the cows are looking good. So we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching again. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. See you next time.